Welcome back to TGIF. Thank God is forever where Jesus most definitely comes first. This once again is Chapman and he teaches you the unchangeable word of God. Listen with this theme song and you'll know. It's me, hey guys. Welcome back to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely come first. Hey guys, good afternoon to you all, and I hope you are doing well with the social distancing idea. Good news for us here in Ohio. The governor of Ohio wants to start opening up the entire economy on next week. So I don't know the day, but next week, the entire economy is going to be opening up as of next week. So hopefully you guys are not going too insane over there. Hopefully everything's going well for you guys, because I know it's a stressful time and things are going to be a little bit on the stressful side. So I agree with that idea. So let's get into a few brief announcements. Number one, go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D, 222 at gmail.com. And send you all your prayer requests. Even if you just want me to shout out to you on the podcast, send me your first name, your city, and your state. And I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come first. Also, keep in mind, I mean, yeah, you can also call me too at 1 302 448 Again, that's 1 302 448 TGIF. Give me a ring, give me a shout, give me a holler, just like Steve. My buddy Prophet Bishop Steve says, Keep in mind for the rumble, we're shaking the heavens, rattling the earth, and rumbling against the principalities of darkness and evil. Back in the day, boxers used to fight. They were what? Rumbling. They were fighting. And the Bible says that we don't rumble or fight against flesh and blood, but of principalities of darkness and evil. We'll take one day out of the week. We'll do nothing but pray. Just pray is all we're going to do. Hello, Andrew. Thanks for tuning in for a brief. We're doing the show for this week. But we're going to take one day out of the week and do nothing but pray. Preferably at midnight because that's when all the evil spirits and all that come out. It's midnight. Also keep in mind for Worship Tuesdays. We'll be doing that again tomorrow. Me and Prophet Steve hopefully. We'll be doing Worship Tuesdays. We'll be doing nothing but worshiping God. Just praise, prayer, and worship. Give you a wave, Andrew. So just praise, prayer, and worship on Worship Tuesdays. So... Let's get into a song for the show. And again, I cannot do this without you guys. You guys are a big part of the show. Yes, you just listen to what I talk about. But the thing is, you listen. And that's good. Because I can't have a show if I have no listeners. I'll be talking to, to the empty camera or to the empty microphone. I can't have a show without you guys. So you guys do me a wonderful service by listening. And I thank you again. Let's give all my listeners a nice round of applause, a hand clap. Thank you, guys. That clap is for you. But I can't do this without you each week, so I am so thrilled that you guys tune in and listen to me. Because I can't do this without you. So, let's get into our song for today. And our song for today is by none other than one of, the, one of my great, great friends, Josiah St. Jean with It Will Be Okay. Enjoy It Will Be Okay by, so, by Josiah St. Jean. It Will Be Okay. Enjoy. For every person facing a storm right now you're not alone God's got this listen God is your present help in trouble you're not alone you're not alone you're not alone he's come through for you so many times before He'll do it again. He'll do it again. He'll do it again. There's 
nothing too hard for him to do. He's gonna make a way for you. Don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. He will not fail you. All you gotta do is stand still, step aside, and watch God fight and for you. And let him fight for you. Somebody needs to hear this. It will be okay. It will be okay. God's got this. God's got this. There's no need. There's no need to worry. I know that it will be. It will be okay. It will be okay. I know it seems there's no. But they can't help you. And you feel afraid. And you feel afraid. But I've come to let you know that. But you can put your trust in God. He's never lost a battle. Cause he never fails. You see, my God never fails. He never fails. He's a strong. He is a strong deliverer. A long time ago. Show up in time to rescue somebody. Lift your eyes beyond the hills. Help, help is on the way. Is on the way. It will be. It will be okay. You don't have to worry. It will be okay. God's got this. There's no need. There's no Calm yourself down. I know that it will be. One thing I know about God is He won't leave you. He won't forsake you. He's ever present. You can lay it all on God. That was It Will Be Okay by none other than Josiah St. Jean. We are definitely going to be having him back on the show next month. So at some time, I'll be contacting him and letting him know. But we'll be having him on the show next month. And I'll be giving my testimony on someone's YouTube channel as well. So I'll give you guys the link to that. And you guys can go follow that link. And Listen to the testimony, which you guys already know my testimony. I talk about my testimony a lot with you guys on the radio broadcast here on TGIF on the podcast. But I'm going to be doing one on someone else's YouTube channel, so let's let's do it. And let's give God the glory for the testimony. Even though, yes, the testimonies are bad, everyone has bad testimonies. What, I'm, what do I mean by bad testimonies? Not that the testimony itself is bad. But the fact that what you did back then was a bad situation, but God still forgave you. And like he said, don't worry, it'll be okay. God's got this. So, 
Even though it was bad, the testimony is good. So, we'll give God the glory for the testimony that's going to be on there soon. I'll give you the link and everything to it later on. But, let's get into our message for today. I just want to play some more music and get and have worship all day long, but I can't. I got a message to give to you guys today. And our message for today. Okay, where is. Here we go. Yep. Our message for today, my new notebook for messages. And if you look at the front cover of the book, it says messages on there. So our message for today is the cost. In this message, we will learn the cost for the cause of Christ. The cost, it cost me and you to be Christians. Yes, it will cost something. I'm not going to give you, give you the whole message, but it will definitely be costing something. So let's get into our message. Let me get a piece of my... God must not want me to eat that one. These are sugar-free coffee candies. I love these. In this message, we will learn... In this message, we will learn... The cost for the cause of Christ, the cost, it cost me and you to be a Christian. Let's look at a few scriptures. Give me about two, two seconds and I'll be right back. I am back. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to grab the Bible. But that's okay. So we're going in. First, we're going to learn about what it costs to be a Christian. And we're going to look at first. First one is Philippians 3.8. So let's look up Philippians 3.8. And being that I forgot my Bible, I did not mark my pages now. Sorry, Brian. So you have to hear me flipping through them. Philippians, 